Eric Ten Hag refuses Sir Jim offer as Ed Woodward breaks silence as he lands new role hours after Man United successors exit. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is refusing to budge over his treatment of Jadon Sancho. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is expected to attempt to mend the relationship between the pair once his 25% investment in the club is confirmed. Ratcliffe, 71, feels Sancho, a £72 million signing from Dortmund, is too big an investment to simply cast aside and he wants the pair to come to a resolution. Sancho has been exiled since taking aim at Ten Hag on social media following the Dutchman's decision not to select him in the squad for the trip to Arsenal in early September. While Sancho has since removed the post, he has refused to apologize and still feels he has been made a scapegoat by Ten Hag. ESPN claimed Ten Hag is unmoved by Ratcliffe's stance and will not back down until Sancho apologizes. Ten Hag insists he must maintain control over the squad and though his treatment of Sancho could appear harsh from the outside, internally he retains support. Juventus have shown interest in the playmaker but will attempt to sign him on loan rather than a permanent deal. Should Sancho fail to apologize, United will look to sell him in January. In other news, Ed Woodward breaks silence as he lands new role hours after Man United successors exit. Ed Woodward has found himself a new gig in artificial intelligence as Manchester United, once again, begin the search for the person to fill the role he vacated. He previously served as the executive vice chairman at Old Trafford, albeit he was an immensely unpopular figure with the club's fans. He left the Premier League outfit and saw Richard Arnold, who had served alongside him, take on the difficult job. Arnold's departure has been announced less than two years after he stepped up to the role with United, who are set to go through major ownership changes as Sir Jim Ratcliffe comes aboard, now looking for another senior figure. Woodward, meanwhile, has been appointed as a strategic advisor and non-executive board member for AI company Sentient Sports. Woodward said on his next challenge, I am excited to be joining the Sentient Sports board and working alongside Ryan and the team. The blend of sports and AI technology at Sentient Sports is truly cutting edge. With some of the industry's leading AI talents involved, I see tremendous potential for innovation and expanding global digital fan bases. I'm thrilled to be part of such a dynamic company with the potential to revolutionize the global digital sports landscape. Sentient Sports, founded in 2020, aimed to be a market leader in employing causal AI technologies which will transform fan engagement within the sports arena. They aim to help professional sports clubs create digital global fan bases and D2C revenue streams. Sentient Sports has tested their models with over 30 professional teams in Europe and America, some of those being Premier League and Football League outfits who have used their AI technology to analyze data and recruit players. It was Woodward's recruitment and decision-making at Old Trafford that copped particular criticism. He stepped up to his senior role when Sir Alex Ferguson left, and his actions in the transfer market saw him heavily scrutinized, with United continuing to spend big on players who underwhelmed. His managerial appointments also failed to yield much silverware. Jose Mourinho was bought in and given a new contract just months before he was sacked. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was given the manager's job temporarily, but good form saw him given the role, but he left without winning any trophies. His managerial appointments also failed to yield much silverware. Jose Mourinho was bought in and given a new contract just months before he was sacked. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was given the manager's job temporarily, but good form saw him given the role, but he left without winning any trophies. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.